Hello, I'm Steven from Online Unlocks and in this tutorial we'll present you a very powerful routing method. I normally recommend this only for advanced users. It's not very difficult but can be dangerous if you don't understand what you're doing. It is commonly known as CF Auto Root. The good thing about it is that it will work on a lot of new phones and will successfully root them when other methods will fail. The bad thing is that will trip your NOx flag and make you lose warranty. Those things being told, we can go ahead and I'll show you how the routing is done. In the video description, you will find the link to the written tutorial. This is where I am now. Here are provided the links to download the files needed to root your phone. First is the link to the official CF Auto Root page. Here are shown all the supported models. You have to go to your phone model. Be careful to download the exact file for your phone model. And uh, if your phone is not showing here, don't use this root method as you can damage your phone. Just press on the word file corresponding to your phone model and you will be redirected to a second page where you can find at the bottom the link to download the exact file needed for root. The file downloaded is an archive so you need to extract it. Use either the built-in Windows extractor or a free program like 7-zip and extract the file somewhere on your desktop so you can get easily to them. Don't just uh, open the program from inside the archive without extracting it because you probably will get an error and it's uh, dangerous to play around with this program. In case you don't have the Samsung drivers installed, please uh, download the Samsung drivers from the link provided in our written tutorial and uh, after they are downloaded, install them. I already have them installed but we'll show you how it works to install the drivers. After all this preparation is done, the real uh, root procedure can start. So go to the file you extracted on your desktop and open the program name Odin. I recommend you to run it as administrator. Once the program is open, don't change any other settings. Just press on PDA and uh, a new window will open. From there, select the only file available. It will be the .tar file from those you extracted on your desktop. After this, you'll need to put your phone in download mode. To do this, turn off the phone. After it's fully off, hold the power home and volume down buttons until the screen lights a bit. After this, leave the power button but keep holding home and volume down till you get to a screen with a warning sign. Then press volume up to continue and you should see on your screen written downloading. Then you know you are in download mode and can connect the phone to your PC. Once you connected it and the driver is installed, the COM port in Odin will turn to yellow. Then verify you've done everything correctly and press start button. Should take a few seconds and the box above the COM port should change color to blue and should see there written reset. Your phone should reboot. If after pressing start nothing happens, please wait 30 seconds to one minute. Then verify your phone is really in download mode. Also verify the connection to the PC is done correctly. If not, reconnect and try again. Once the phone is back on and is detected by the PC, the box above the COM port will change color again to green and will be written pass. Then you can be sure everything went okay and the phone is rooted. You will find SuperSue among your applications. In case that root doesn't go well, and for example your phone does, doesn't turn on, uh, no need to panic. It can be fixed by restoring the stock firmware. You need to download the latest stock firmware for your device and restore it with Odin. But normally, if you follow the tutorial, nothing should happen. If you have any questions or need help regarding this route, please contact us. And if you need to unlock your phone, the best place to do it is with online unlocks. Thank you.